Global warming is a result of too much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, much of which comes from fossil fuels. Our bustling chemical industry here in Louisiana uses fossil fuels for power, to drive chemical processes, and as a source of carbon, a key ingredient in many of the products that we use every day. And while we can get electricity from renewable sources, we still need carbon to make those essential products. Some groups are trying to take the carbon dioxide out of the air and store it or use less of it. What we're looking at doing is reusing it or basically recycling it so that we can continue to have these carbon-based products that we've grown accustomed to without polluting the atmosphere. My research is about taking carbon dioxide and water and feeding it into a reactor and applying electricity so we can do combustion in reverse. Instead of using fossil fuels as a source of energy and carbon and emitting carbon dioxide in the process, we can actually take carbon dioxide directly from those emission sources to make the same carbon-based products. As we move away from fossil fuels, we're not going to be able to get the ethylene that we regularly would from there. And I like having liquid detergents. I like having soap. I like having rubber soles on my shoes. So we're still going to need that. And this is a process for us to do that with negative carbon emissions. Numerous companies that are based in Louisiana do have promises to be carbon neutral by 2035, 2050. And by giving them this technology, telling them how well it works, we can help them reach those goals. LSU has been a fantastic resource. It's provided me amazing facilities in which to conduct my research and awesome people to collaborate with. Dr. Flake has been extremely helpful in my research. I'm very independent. I like to you know, find my own path, so to speak. And he allows me to do that while providing me the structure and the relevant information and, and the counsel. I hope my carbon capture research can help humanity find more efficient and better ways to store and use energy and the materials around us.